Hello everybody. I was going to go through a couple other questions that people had asked. And um, and this would also be a good pendulum reading, but let's just see what we get from this, okay? Okay, so the first one is, are we the same in life as death? And um, what we have found with um, working with spirits on the other side is the answer is yes. You know, yes and no in some ways. Um, are we the same? We're not in that same physical um, solid body. So, um, but what remains is the energy, or uh, the, the energy of, you know, uh, what, wherever your mind was at that time, um, you know, could be subtle, it could be stronger. Um, if you left with a lot of cloudiness, you know, there, uh, if there was a, you know, possibly chemicals or a lot of fear. Um, but you could, there could very much be a transformation though upon death where, um, you know, one is um, really surrendered, they're able to let go, and then certainly there could be, a, you know, something different. So it's kind of like, it's the exact same in life. It's so dependent on how much can you allow in your heart to let go and how much are you able to surrender what are you clinging to you know this is going to give even in this moment the possibility for a change in the next moment and so this is the same at death yes so the, really the answer is at least from the work that i've done you feel that people are the same but um some have learned um you know there's more clarity there. They're able to reflect and, you know, get more openings and flowering there than possibly what they left with. Others are completely confused. They feel like they're right in that same situation. And, you know, even though they're formless, and, uh, and, and that is always interesting to see that it really is just showing that it's simply mind that creates these attachments in this persona and it does go forward. Um, there's always the possibility in death as in life to, if you want to call it death, you know, really it's just a transition to another um, realm. And, um, you know, if you, uh, there's always the possibility for growth, change, and uh, this is what, I don't think that was where I was going with that, but somehow I, my lights flickered there, so I was just kind of, um, it's easy, okay, now I'm, I don't know where I was, but anyways, yes, okay. So um, that is that one. Now someone also asked me, were there moments of integration or intense emotions or situations where energies were difficult to let go of? Yes, okay, that's really all that I can say there. And certainly, you know, um, even on this journey, yes. Okay, yes, yes. And before, you know, I had no tools, I had no understanding. I mean, I felt, you know, you always, oh, you're a loving, good person. Why is this happening here? It continues. Yes, it does continue. It's very difficult. You know, letting go is not an easy thing, even though it brings so much more depth of peace, but it's it's familiar to hang on to it. It's, you know, this revolving crisis you're in or you know if you're feeling anxious or whatever drama is just so much more familiar so we tend to want to hold to that rather than let go so really the letting go for here has really come from you know a lot of the um, again the tools that's that have been offered on this journey but you know I think if I could go back and do it over for me I don't know if I could change anything but I really feel, um, you know, we can't, and there's no way, but, you know, to just, um, you know, if I could give any advice, it would be to just lighten up, um, don't worry so much, and it's so easy to say, but try to find a focal point that gives you some kind of, you know, connection, some grounding. Um, your creativity is always good to nurture. Know that things get better. They really do if your heart is open. Things change. And, you know, I would be one to, you know, where things are at now compared to where really things were for me when I was so young. I would never 
feel, you know, like there would be a, some kind of flow that was peaceful and easy or, um, and there's still some cycling things, you know, it's not like I'm all, all those knots are completely cut in here. But, you know, you just keep journeying and there's always these surprises. And so just, you know, all that one can do is just be as honest and open heart and, um, you know, you still have to have boundaries in your world, though. That's a big one. Don't let everything. I'm a good, kind person and loving, so I'm going to let everyone step on me. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. That was something that needed to be learned here, too. It'll drain you. Okay, so know what doors to shut, what ones to open. It takes some discernment, okay? Don't gravitate to a ton of different things because it will scatter your energy. Okay, just be happy. Try to keep things more simple. So that's those two. And then what I was going to do is do another reading. And these were, you know, it was interesting when I was writing out the questions for the other video. Um, I encountered this writing underneath some questions. I believe it was for another reading I was going to do. but And it says, where does divine channel come from? Why is divine channel blocked? How to stay connected to divine flow? What are our guides helping us to understand about divine flow? What are aspects of those that have this flow of divine come through them? Okay, so I think I will do a pendulum reading on those questions. I believe it was another reading I was going to do, and I put those out. I don't know if I ever did it. And so that just was right there underneath, and I felt like that would really work. Okay, so I think this is going to end for now. Um, my voice is getting a little croaky. It's still croaky. I have that cold. And um, I just want to put out, again, you know, for personal readings, it's SIDA readings, S-I-D-D-H-A reading 60 at gmail.com through PayPal. Okay, and I'll put that again underneath. It's the same one for PayPal. But I'll put that again underneath. I, I am getting a few requests, and that's been nice, so I appreciate that. And... Um, I think that's about it for now. There'll be more coming out, so thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye now.